Open, good morning. Have your breakfast. I know you're eager to go out. And come on. Tick, 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 tick. Hi guys, it's a beautiful morning once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. The things are getting better and better each day. Since we started this farm, we started from scratch. Now we can see already the development of our boathouse and this is quite big and we are about now to make the roofings for us to be able to start our business which is a coffee house I think or a bat choy house I don't know but this is gonna be the start of our business and what I am really amazed about today is the presence of our tilapia you know, this tilapia is not intentionally bred because I just saw them infiltrating the net of our asola. This is intended for our asola. But they became too many that we can see babies right here, thousands of them. And these tilapias are native here and they can just be produced easily because they know how to take care of their fry. Unlike the catfish and other fish like the carp and goldfish, they don't know how to take care of the fry, but these tilapias are able to survive in this pond even in the presence of this big catfish because they are able, as what I've said, to take care of their babies. And maybe you're interested how much we spent for the you know, making of this boathouse. Well, I'd like to tell you that we don't spend that much because the materials used are just bamboos. It's just very available. It's quite uh, inexpensive. But the labor cost is quite expensive. But still, in totality, it's uh, quite manageable in terms of investment. And we are also looking forward to add more of these cottages, like developing the other side of this property. And that's the time that we can see many people coming over and enjoying and feeding all the animals that are here. Now you guys have to watch this out because as we gonna complete this boathouse, we will also, you know, open this to the public. What I'm planning here is to put the carpet, the green in color, that would make this very elegant. And I can imagine if you can finish the roofings of this, you can note that there are already posts that are uh, erected. For today, we are set to complete all the posts and make the purlings that right here so that we can attach the roofings. And along this side, we can also enclose this with an elevation of three feet. And we will make this as our boat, you know, a mimic of Noah's Ark. And I'm also very inspired because from here we can see the beauty of our pond and as we feed our catfish the ducks are also eating and competing with the food of our fish and it's really very interesting to watch and of course if we're gonna release our tilapia that would be an exciting you know adventure with this type of farming I gave God all the glory for what he has done why? Because we did not expect this production of tilapias. I know that there are tilapias here, but I did not expect that they will produce like this. And you will see that they are already becoming bigger and bigger each day, and we're feeding this. And 
we are set to release them in the open if they will reach maybe three to four inches. If we will release them at this early, I believe that they will be all eaten up by the catfish because the catfish are really that carnivorous. They have the capacity to eat everything. And I'm feeding right now, and literally these are thousands, I think, of tilapias that we can harvest from here. And they're protected because they're inside the net. And the parent stocks of this are just native here. We don't put any, but they are just native here. And this is what I am very confident about. They have this capacity to multiply because this is their natural habitat. Tick, 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 tick. I desire to have thousands of you know, different varieties of fish, the tilapia and the native snakehead and this catfish and also hundreds of ducks that we're gonna feed right here. Actually, we have already more than a hundred of these ducklings and more than a hundred of these chickens and our geese are actually growing in number because we have five goslings right now and I'm so happy to bring back the ostrich farm and of course we will also put our aviary right here so these are the things that I, I have in mind that we're gonna accomplish and it's slowly happening it's slowly being realized because of our relentless effort to do all these things tick, 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 tick. So we will feed our ducks and chickens and we will open the coop right now. There are so many chicks that are here. Come on. Open, good morning. Have your breakfast. I know you're eager to go out. And come on, come on. We have more than a hundred of chickens right here. We have so many chicks. And these are the black astrolorp. And anytime this week, we also add some Rhode Island red chickens. And this is gonna be filled with so many chickens of different breeds. And we are set to make another coop. Of course, we cannot mix. We will separate them according to their breed. We're feeding them normally with this rice and a chop of this water spinach. And this gives them good health and vitamins of their bodies. They're too noisy. And our gooselings here are <laughs> thriving actually. They're already big. Oh, <laughs> very noisy. Ah, see? Okay. Come on. Come on. You survive. And two weeks from now, we're gonna be seeing more pets right here. And that's gonna be a surprise. We will integrate maybe goats or whatever. Just swatch this out. 
because as we are trying to improve our facility, we're also adding more animals to entertain us here, which are raised in a natural, very natural manner. I hope guys that you are encouraged with this video. You know how we started this farm. We started from scratch and now we are slowly bouncing back because our previous farm was actually taken out by the government for public use and we cannot do nothing except to yield and abide by the decision of the, the, the government. But then we are bouncing back and shout out to Mr. Richie Rico for helping us and also for allowing us to own this property and also I would like to make a shout out to the 1.5 million subscribers that are now enjoying watching our videos and this big family will continue to soar high like an eagle and gain more success and if you're not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading regularly informative videos and please subscribe and see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World. Wow.